Hey Eurovision fans, today we're checking out George's song for Eurovision 2024. It's Andrea singing To My Mom. We're going to listen back to the music video and see how this could do in Madrid. So let's kiki. So this year we see the return of Guga Kukianidze. I hope I'm saying his surname right. In case you don't know, Giga is the main songwriter for Georgia in Junior Eurovision. He started, I had to write it down because he's written so many of their songs. He wrote their song in 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, took a two year gap, 20, 2020, 2021, 22, and then last year he didn't write. So he has been their songwriter for 11 years, not always on his own, sometimes on his own, sometimes other people, but the most consistent person. And he's had incredible results in that time, coming fourth, first, second, fifth, 11th, 10th, first, second, sixth, fourth, and third. So that's a lot of top 10 placings. He wasn't present last year. They went with different songwriters and it didn't go so well. I think they came 13th or 15th. Uh, they came 14th. I still thought the performance was very pretty and the song was interesting, but yeah, it just clearly didn't have the same appeal, different songwriters. To, maybe Giga wanted to take a break. In any case, this year he's back. He's written a song called To My Mom with Maka Davitea, whose name I don't recognize. But To My Mom, I imagine we're going to get a ballad. And we've got a boy singing this year on his own, which is interesting. After what happened last year, we had no solo boys. This year, we have a lot of solo boys. Okay, I'll play as much of the video and originals as copyright allows me to. If I can play the original, I'll put it up on my Patreon. Okay, this is Andrea Put Karadze singing To My Mom. Want to know my secret band? Okay, let's see what Giga's got this year. Oh, dramatic piano at the start. Oh, I like that beginning, actually. Nice outfit. Okay, nice, pretty beginning. Lovely voice. This is definitely something the jury would like. I wonder, is it going to build like Portugal song does? Ticking noise as well. Okay. Okay, he's got some moves. They give him some cardio. That's cool. It feels a little bit like Mizeo from 2016. It's got that kind of like theater feel. It's very Mizeo, which won in 2016. But I think this year's more competitive. Nice instrumentation coming in. I like this thing. It's very simple music video, but it's very pretty. Just standing in these bushes in the forest in the autumn. It's very nice. Very little English. I think the audience is going to be confused what's going on. Yeah, I don't know if people at home are going to get the connection to his mother. But he's singing it beautifully. Wonderful voice. And it's different. It's good to see a boy doing a big power ballad. I can't remember the last one of those we had. Yeah, what well, nice big climax now. And the leaves floating around him is really cool. Very dramatic ending. Very theater, very theatrical. Yeah, really, really pretty instrumentation throughout the whole song. Oh, I don't think we had any English in that throughout the whole song, unless I missed it. Very, very pretty. I have to admit that did actually go by quite quickly. I didn't really drag as much, like that three minutes did feel quite quick. This really feels like the older brother or younger brother to Zeo from 2016. Really, really similar, giving me a slight bit of like Mary Poppins vibe in the feel of it. Feels kind of like timeless. 
This could be a song from the 30s, the 20s, Sound of Music style, very stirring, dramatic with an orchestra. Really, really beautifully sung. I thought the music video was very simple, but really nice. Just standing in this forest, kind of looking a little bit like a bird in a nest in a way. I think that's probably an intentional visual metaphor of, you know, being a young hatchling, um, growing up. And then we had the flurry of the leaves as well. I imagine the staging wise, this could be a little bit static. I imagine we're probably going to get him just standing because vocally he needs to sing it quite clean throughout the whole thing. So I think probably it's going to be a bit more static. I think the jury's going to be great with that. I don't know how the televote is going to be with a very static, slow burning song at the start. Having said that, that Portuguese song did really well with the televote a couple of years ago, the guy with the paddy hat and the glasses. And I know that that Kazakh boy did really well with his power ballad. So we know that they can do okay with the televote, but I think it's a little bit more difficult to really get to the top of the televote than it is with the more like fun, upbeat songs. But if he absolutely kills the jury, which is possible, because this is a very jury friendly song, and does pretty well with the televote. Who knows, this could get up quite high. I don't know if that's the same impact as Zeo. It's very pretty, maybe I just need a few more lessons, but he sang it really well, very well composed. The instrumentation was really great. I loved how it built energy throughout the song. I felt like we were going through the gears, first, second, third, fourth gear, moving up towards the end with a nice soft ending. Um, I don't know if we got enough of the meaning of the song. I was expecting to my mom, we're gonna get a couple of English lyrics. Thanks mom for picking me up from school or taking me to singing lessons or something, I don't know. But yeah, I, I wonder, do they need to make some sort of connection to the kids at home to understand what is going on? Having said that, Zeo didn't have that explanation and it won. I can't remember if they had the same voting system back then though. Yeah, so there was no televoting in 2016. 2016 was an adult's jury and a kid's jury, so there was no televote then. So yeah, would, Zeo, would Zeo have won in 2016? with the new television system? I don't know, possibly. It'll be interesting to see now, how do they compare? Sorry, I thought I keep comparing them, but they are very, very, very much related. Same writer, very similar feel. I actually like that kind of like Mary Poppins 20s feel. It's very nostalgic. It feels very, like I said, timeless. Like it, we're looking at a piece of historical music. I don't know if the kids are gonna like that. I really enjoy that. But are the kids at home gonna vote for that? I'm not sure. I do think, they need to do some clever staging to kind of bring this to life and keep the kids entertained. They have a bit of a task to keep the kids' attention, but who knows what they could do. I'm quite confident this is gonna to be top 10. I think the jury points alone will do this very, very well. It's got a good running order, it's 10th. And you know, if you look at George's overall rankings, they're seventh in the all-time rankings for Junior Eurovision, so they've got a really, really good pedigree. They take it very, very seriously, they put a lot of passion into it. So I'm expecting something that's gonna look really professional on, and fingers crossed for Georgia that they can get back into the top 10. Okay, that's what I thought about Andrea seeing to my mom. What did you think? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. No new donations, but if you want to support the channel, I'll leave links down there below as well. And of course, thank you to my patrons for patronizing me from all around the world. If you wanna see some more Eurovision content, I will leave a video for you here. But of course, thanks so much just for watching and maybe leaving a like. And I hope to see you in another Junior Eurovision Reaction video very soon. Goodbye. Blah, 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 blah.